Today, we are gonna do our vermiculite <laughs> video. People have asked about what we use in our really nice, what do you call that, incubation? Well, it's a nice shipping box, but we use it for it incubating is. eggs. It is a shipping box, but we use it for incubating eggs. And the reason why we use this for incubating eggs is because, see how thick that is? That buys us time just in case there's an incubator malfunction, whether it gets too hot or too cold. So we put our incubation medium inside this and we put a lot in there. Colette will talk about that in a minute. We put a lot in there so it has, what would you call that? Like just a volume. Volume, okay. We, we call it volume. Volume. That way if the incubator goes up or down or whatever, it has something in there to help hold the temperature more stable. So why don't you tell us what you do to mix up the, the potion? The potion? Well, we, we do um, two to one. So we do two portions of vermiculite to one portion of perlite. And we put it in here. In here, what, what we do is, is we'll end up with 10, 10 containers, and I use 16 ounce ones, of vermiculite and five of perlite, and so that's a total of 15, 16 ounce cups. And then we add, <laughs> yeah, and then we Quick add, maths. <laughs> then we add three 16 ounce cups of water once it's all done. So I'm gonna put my mask on because this is dusty and I don't like getting, I don't like getting dusted. So. really hard on the fingernails, but it's the best way to do it. You look like you've done that a time or two. Yes. <laughs> how, how many times a season do you do that? Uh, I don't know, 70, 80? <laughs> At least. Nice. So this is the mixture that we use and the amount of moisture that we use, but we live in a a fairly dry environment so depending upon where you're located you may or may not need to adjust it so but for us this is what works for us so and, and how's how's this feel though it just I mean, it shouldn't be it, muddy no no it doesn't it, it clumps some but it doesn't clump a lot but it, it, it does clump some and uh, it doesn't feel, I mean, as you can see, it's not super sticky and it, it comes off. So it's, um, that's how we do it. So what do you do with this now? This goes in the incubator and since it's um, way before we'll have eggs, we'll just leave the top set over some so, so it'll dry out. This is like the top we use. And this is the top we use. And, uh, <clears throat> and it goes in the incubator. I like having these made, well, with the moisture in them, a few days prior to egg deposition. If you go too long before the eggs are laid, you'll lose too much moisture out of the vermiculite mixture, so. And generally, we don't have to add water during, e during it. We never add water during incubation. Well, in, unless there, well, there shouldn't be a mixing problem if you set it up right in the very beginning. So, just so, so they know, you used, and you referred to it a little bit, you used just regular- Tap water. Cold tap water. But you wouldn't use cold tap water if you had to put eggs in right no, away. No, if I had to put eggs in this right away, I would not, I would warm up the tap water to, it's like what they call tepid. Not yeah. that it's hot, but just barely warm to the touch. Cause if you get it, 
too hot, then it's going to be too hot for the eggs and cause problems. And that's why you make it a few days early so it can go in the incubator and acclimate well, I'd come up before to eggs go in there. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then why do we use this top? We chose this a long time ago because it's heavy enough. It has a good seal that, that puts down. It's not, um, and it's easy to look in and see what the eggs are doing. So this is, this is what we chose a long time ago to use. So it works for us. And we can see through it. And you can see through it. And then what happens when, the, when we're looking through here, what happens when the eggs get close to hatching? Uh, condensation forms on the top of the glass. It starts forming, you know, and the eggs will start to, to dent in or collapse. And the temperature actually goes up inside the box. And, and condensation comes up on the top and we just lift up the glass and let it roll back to the edge and it'll, it'll go down the side there. Cool, so that's how we do egg incubation. Anything else? Um, when, I think the only other thing I can think of is- But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> when, when you go out looking for your vermiculite or your perlite, you have to make sure that it has no other additives in it. Sometimes, if you get something that has extra fertilizer in it or soils or any additive, your eggs will mold and it's very bad. <laughs> We've had that happen so, before. So you just make sure it's just straight vermiculite or straight perlite. It should be available at your local nursery, um, Home Depot, just anyways. Just make sure it's not extra additives. Yeah, no extra additives. Because we've had the bottom of eggs literally rot out of the bottom. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was bad. Yeah, that was probably 20 years ago, but yeah, we learned the hard way. We did. So, is that it? Yeah, I think so. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We want to uh, keep making more videos. If you love seeing her in videos, oh, I don't like seeing videos. <laughs> tell us in the comments. <laughs> tell us you want to see Colette more. It's hard for her to do, but she, uh, I'm getting poked in the back for this right now. <laughs> but tell her you want to see more. Put what you want for more videos. We're putting them, we're writing them down. We're making a list. I don't know if we'll check it twice or not, but hey, we're going to do more videos, okay? Until the next one, which will be recorded in about three minutes. We'll see you next time.